The 1.19 Wild Update is packed with secrets that feel so illegal. No one believes they're real. So today, I'ma prove they actually work. All right, we're out here in one of the brand new ancient cities of the deep dark, and we're heading over to the portal structure. Ooh, we're checking out the loot chest. Wait, the golden apple? Seriously, that's all you get? This ain't a secret, this sucks! Wait, what is he doing underneath the bridge? He's eating his apple at the wall? What's that gonna do, man? What? Sound the cap alarm. Wee woo, wee woo. That is so sus. Ain't no way there's just a single golden apple in there and I'm not supposed to eat it but use it as a key. Wait, bro, what? That's all the loot there is? But usually these chests are full to the brim and this is the ancient city for crying out loud. So what? They just came underneath the bridge here? But that's the cool structure. What would this have to do? Wait, that's the exact same staircase structure with the inlet here. So what, they just walked up to the wall and ate the apple? How is that gonna do anything? You know what, I'll just stop asking questions and we'll do it. See, nothing. Wait, what? No. No, no. How, how? There's a piston door with redstone, but that's like player built. But, but, wait. This looks like it was built by a player, but I, I swear it wasn't. I didn't build this. What is this area? Bro, look at this. It's like a secret redstone testing lab of some sort. Oh my goodness. This secret room is 10 times cooler than a desert pyramid. What? It's like an ancient civilization was here and built all of this. How did that door even open? Wait, we have a skulk sensor here in the water. So when I ate the apple, it detected that output of redstone signal, which then opened the door. Hey, yo, this is my crib now. <laughs> Hey, what you in the alley for? What did they do to deserve that? Hold up. Did you give him a totem of undying? Can they use that? That would mean your pet would have two lives. Wait. He can't even damage the alley anymore. Does the totem of undying make him invincible? I'm sorry, alley. But this is for science. Put! Okay, so he takes damage. We can confirm that. Now, I want to know, does it work if you give him any item or only the totem of undying? So we're going to start off with a cookie here. Have this. There you go, Mr. Alley. And we're going to try and hit him now. Yo, look at this, guys. He literally takes no damage. Okay, so it wasn't just the Tone of Undying, but if he's just holding any item whatsoever, he won't die. That is really cool. No way, that's the only mob like that. Okay, now the other thing I want to see is if he can use the Tone of Undying, because we didn't actually get to test that in the video. At least they didn't show it. So the only way I can think of doing this, if we can't damage him, maybe he'll take fire damage? I don't know. Okay, we're going to spawn. Okay, how are we going to do this? We'll spawn an ally in here, give him a Tone of Undying. Boom, and then what? We're going to need to... I'm so sorry, this is a science, man. All right, chuck him in there and close it off. All right, there he is, he's inside. You guys saw that, right? He just used the Trove on dying. Stop doing this, but how else am I supposed to bridge? Okay, diamond boots with soul speed three and pants with, hold up, what's that new enchantment? Swift sneak? I've never heard of that before. My man's was building backwards at the speed of Sonic and he was using soul speed to do it. But here's the thing, it doesn't work while you're crouching, which you need to bridge backwards except there was another enchantment swift sneak which is brand new to 1.19 and apparently combining it with soul speed makes you practically god all right we're gonna go ahead and chuck this armor on we'll switch into survival mode so we know this is 100 percent legit let's turn around here goes nothing go what guys are you see how fast i'm bridging right now Holy what? I have never bridged as far as in my life. And it doesn't matter because I'm sneaking. I will literally not, never fall off. Even if I like go to the sides like this, guys, you can see that I actually cannot fall off. Hey, yo, that's the new mud block. What are we doing with dripstones? Are we trying to farm mud? Wait, it turns into clay. You can get infinite clay? We vibing. We chilling in this brand new mangrove swamp. I love this biome so much. We're going to chuck down our new mud blocks, which you can find in this biome. Chuck down some pointed dripstone. And it was like, look at that. The water particles are coming out. It's sucking the water out of the mud, which turns into clay. Which means you can get infinite clay and you can set up a clay farm. That is insane. And it's so fast too. What the flip? The recovery compass was just added. Crafted with one compass and eight echo shards found in ancient cities. It always points to where you last died. Really? Allowing you to find your lost items. This Loki just looks like a mod. I'm calling clickbait on this one. Okay, so we use something called echo shards. I don't remember those being added to the get. They're here. Okay, so I suppose maybe you can find them in ancient cities. But as if you can surround a compass, the compass has been unchanged for like 10 years. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Oh my goodness, bro. That looks like a futuristic electronic compass. That is so cool. What? Bro, there have been mods about this kind of thing for like years and I've always wanted in the game, but I never thought that actually added. Okay, let's see whether it actually does what it says to do. Okay, so I die. Wait, but if I die, won't the compass? Wait, won't I lose the compass? Hold on, I don't understand. That, that makes no sense. Wait, if I die, I lose the compass. 
Okay, so you gotta keep like the compass in a chest or something back at home. Is that is that what you do? Hold up, wait, wait, wait. Let's go ahead, grab this compass, and I'm just gonna point over here. I mean, it works. It's pointing towards the lava. Look at that, guys! I can move, and it's always gonna point to the lava. If I turn around, it always points back to there, and then that way I can get my items. So I suppose you just leave this in a chest at home for whenever you do die, and when you respawn, it's right there, ready to go. Just don't carry it on you. That would be very stupid. <laughs> oh ho! We're back in the ancient city, flying over to the warden portal. This man's got a flint and steel, and bro, this isn't a real portal, all right? It ain't like the Nether dimension. They haven't added any new dimensions. I wish they would, but it's not true. Oh. Wait, did I not read the update notes correctly? Yes, I know. In the game files, Mojang named this structure a portal, but they didn't add any new dimensions. They might in the future, and I really hope they do, because that'd be so cool to have a whole new world, but it's not real. Oh my goodness. We just exposed them for clickbait. Yeah, myth busted right here. You're probably thinking, but I can see the portal. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how easy it is for them to trick you guys, and I want to expose this person and this man's career for getting me so excited, right? It's a simple command block that is testing for fire on this block over here, and then we just use a resource pack to change the color of the portal and the fire. You see if I go through here. Yeah, this ain't a new dimension. This just do be the nether. <laughs> and finally, for this black diamond creeper charge vampire. Then that is this awesome that is so cool! They might have only showed us the final step for that Warden Bannon, but we're about to figure this out together. And from looking at it, I think I have got the strategy, right? We've got a Black Banner, and we're going to start off with some Cyan Stripes. Then we're going to use a Yellow Dye here with a Flower Charge. That's going to be the center of our Bannon. Then we need to combine this with some Black Dye. We're going to go for Bordor Indented, and then we're going to add a, like, Black Triangle coming in from the top. Then we want some Light Gray Dye with a Skull Charge. Oh, yeah. I think I've got this. I think I've got this. All right, final one. Let's please hope this is right. Black Banner with Creeper Charge. There you go, guys. A Warden Banner to decorate your world and your ancient cities. Subscribe if this face reminds you of your mom.